Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga. As earlier discussed in another video at my uh, reservoir check for the Miltoniopsis, I suggested that I wanted to do a repot on a breathless brilliant. So I thought now is the time, let's uh, get the Orchid out and put it in a new um, environment, new up potting. Because we have some alive roots but also uh, quite a few dead ones. So I want to get rid of those and give it a clean new environment. So therefore I have my scissors already ready. And we start with uh, taking it out of its pot and cleaning the orchid up a little bit. Also this is a recovery one. And for a Miltoniopsis it's uh, doing fairly well. Recovering a Miltoniopsis is not that easy. So I'm lucky enough that this one is making new roots. And I thought well then, then this is a beautiful time to do a repot on it. So uh, like I said, um, yeah I don't want to break them of course. So, well I have this stuck to a stick so first I uh, need to untie that. There we are. And it has also a rotting bulb, so I want to get rid of that bulb as well. So now, easily try to get it out of a pot. So gently. So let's get rid of that pot. This meter we can use again. I will uh, clean it up in a minute. And here we are. A lot of synthic, probably a little bit too much. That keeps the environment very wet inside of the pot. So I uh, try to leave as much synthic. A little bit they really like, as we saw, but uh, too much can be. Uh, it keeps it too wet, even for self-watering. It might sound a bit silly. I'm going to cut off the old rotted roots over here. Don't need them anymore. There we go. But we do have some viable roots here. So I don't want to mess with them. I'm going to leave this part as well. We have some moss growing. I don't mind. I really like moss, to be honest. We have a dead root here as well. No, this one is not dead. It's a little bit brown, but it's uh, fairly firm, so I'm going to leave that as well. So yeah, a few dead roots, but luckily quite a lot of them are still alive. A lot of uh, alive roots here. So I hope there will be more alive roots, of course, so we can uh, get along with this recovery. But now I'm going to cut off that bulb and uh, seal the wound with some Cintiq. But I first need my cutters. And I have them here. Yes, these guys. Fairly handy. So, let me see. I want a nice clean cut through the rhizome, of course. And there we go. So this bulb is a bit soft, not that much, but it's a beautiful new uh, clean cut. And the rhizome looks, uh, it's white, but it doesn't show any purple, luckily. Luckily, and as well on this side, which is still on the plant. Let me, as you can see, it's a beautiful, nice, clean rhizome. So that's great news, of course. Let me grab my cinnamon. I have a bit of cinnamon here. And I'm going to use the tag to get a little bit out. Don't want to mess this on the wood, so I put my finger underneath it. And slowly put the cinnamon on the wound, like this. And there we go. Because cinnamon will dry out the roots as well, so therefore we want to be careful with that. So, this can uh, now take its time a little bit. Um, I have 
my clean little tray here. I have my media underneath here. It's such a wonderful table. I've, my, actually, my husband found it in, uh, in our secondhand store. We have a secondhand store and uh, we try to make money for the, the bird shelter. But, uh, shelter, but uh, he found this uh, beautiful table. It's an, uh, it was officially an up table for in a flower store. So, uh, and back then I didn't have this room, I wasn't into orchids as much as now, I still had some orchids, but he was like, yeah, this is some table, this table is good for you, you need it, and you will like it, and I was like, yeah, I already have a table, why do I need another one? But luckily I did listen, because this is so easy to clean, and I can, it can carry so much stuff, especially the up-putting stuff, etc. So, very, very happy with this uh, second hand uh, uh, table, spotting table. I put wheels underneath it so it's a little bit higher but that's okay so I can stand up and I can move it around very easily because there, uh, there are four wheels underneath uh, the table so it's very easy to adjust whenever I uh, want to. So that, that's what I'm talking about. And you can see this is very uh, easily uh, to clean with alcohol etc. to sterilize my table. It's, it's very very easy. So uh, yeah I was Lucky that my husband did uh, encourage me to buy this table. Let me see, what do we, no, I don't want the ceramics. Wrong one, I need to come here, yes. Some bigger pieces of pumice, just to fill up the holes in the pot. Oh, I'm sorry, before I forget, I will be right back. I need to clean that water meter because it needs to go in now. Just give me a second and I will be back. So, and yes. It did happen to me a few times that I need to unpot it, the plant again because I was forgetting the, these kind of guys and I really cannot live without them anymore. So, uh, but anyhow, luckily uh, we discovered it in time. Use a little bit more. I really think this uh, Miltoniopsis will like it as well. Uh, it still has Scintic, but now it gets small pumice uh, uh, as well. And as we saw in that video in the reservoir check, we, I had a lot of roots, especially on the ones with a nice balanced media of from small pumice, not this one, but a small one, I will get in a second, and Scintic. So uh, I think uh, the orchid will uh, be happy uh, with that media. So that was the big one, the big stuff. Now we go over to the small one, but first I want to position the orchid in, uh, in the pot. This needs to come up front so it's easier for me to, to see. And let me grab the orchid. And since it is uh, fairly heavy, well, I need to uh, cut a little bit off. It's a very long strand here. Strain of Cintiq, there you go. And I have a dead root here as well. You can go, that one there, so this should be fine. Let me see, I don't want to mess those roots up too much. So I'm going to, it's a bit of a climber, so I'm going to put that, the oldest bulb a little bit lower and I will fill it, uh, the last layer up around that bulb with pebbles so it doesn't get as moist, so it doesn't stay as moist because I don't need it. Um, and now I will fill the pot up with uh, small pumice. Oops. A little bit there. I pushed it a little bit down underneath that bulb. Sorry, my hand was in the way. And I then positioned the dark at the back. Push it down just a little bit. I'm just tapping. Not really pushing. I don't want to damage the roots, but just tapping the top layer. And then I will tap the pot a little bit. But I don't do that too much. A little bit of air, they don't mind. So I know. I will fill the rest up with, uh, with some pebbles. At last. Let me show it to you guys because I now have the camera running. But how beautiful and small this is. Can you see it? It's beautiful. 
I really, really love this uh, stuff, especially for the not only opposites, nearly Eilers, Oncidiums, etc. They really like a mix of small pommes, and I like to add a little bit of Cintiq, like we discussed, but uh, yeah, beautiful stuff. So, some pebbles. And I want to put my finger in front of those new roots, so I don't damage them. Especially with pebbles, it's fairly heavy. You can break roots quite easily. And we don't want that, of course. Put a few behind those old bulbs, like we discussed, talked about. So it has a little bit of a media around it, but it will not stay wet for too long. And that's it. That's enough. So it can now go in this new pot. The outer pot. And I have this tie wrap. Uh, tie wrap. That's how we call it in, in the Netherlands. I'm sorry. Cable uh, tie. <laughs> in English. Here. So I can hold the pot a little easy, bit easier. And then I can slowly let it go down into the outer pot. And now we can have a Let's close up for now. I really, really like the pebbles as well. I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy it. And you can see, I think I managed to keep those uh, healthy, uh, not healthy. Uh, I don't, I managed, <laughs> did manage to break them. That's basically what I'm trying to say. The new roots there, the new root tips. I think they are all still there, so that's beautiful. And they can now go directly for the media. So that is, that is it. I need to now uh, to replace the tag. And uh, it's here. I already cleaned it because I used it for the uh, cinnamon. And I put the tag back and uh, now the sea is good to go. I will water it a little bit, of course, because she's used to self-watering. And then she can go back to her shelf. So this was a uh, sort of yeah, it was a repotting, not 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 necessarily an uppotting. The pot is a little bit bigger, but it absolutely needed a, a repot because if I had too much cintiq in it, a, a little few too many uh, dead roots, I think, for this orchid. But now I know it has a clean rhizome, so that's good. I think this one will recover. It really is working on a, a nice, healthy recovering. So, uh, breathless, uh, breathless beauty. How is it called? I'm sorry. A uh, uh, breathless brilliant. That's the name. I uh, really love the flower, so hopefully one day she will be back in bloom. So you guys, thank you for watching. I just wanted to so, uh, say that I'm really happy to uh, make these videos. I had some suggestions. I will come back to those suggestions as, uh, eventually. It, it takes some time, but uh, I really enjoy them. And there were some requests for uh, up poddings and re -poddings, so I will do uh, more of those in the, in the near future. Uh, also with some family offices, etc. with uh, basically every year. Uh, sort of plant and I will have some up poddings in the near future as well. But for now, once again, thank you for watching and if you didn't already have, please subscribe to my channel. I would really uh, love that and uh, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye!